Lex from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about living in Thailand. I like these rambling on ones because it's not scripted, I just go on on a tangent and we'll just discuss about many things living here in Thailand. And we're going to start off with about the Thai girls. The Thai girls in Thailand get a lot of bad press from people about ripping foreigners off and cheating them out of the money one thing and another. But when all said and done, they are interesting stories and they make the interesting views and they get your numbers up because everybody likes to read about bad news. Bad news sells newspapers and there are many, many good stories here in Thailand and not all Thai girls are there to rip you off. So here we go, I'm going to start washing the car. So my start off with this is I've been in Thailand now for 11 years those who watch my channel say I do many videos about all sorts of things and today's video is going to be about um, a, a good story it is a good story because not all Thai people or not all Thai girls are there to rip you off and I've got to say the example I'm going to give is about my wife and the fact that I don't feel I'm being ripped off and I'm quite fortunate really because my Thai wife has her own property, she has a farm up in Karat, so financially wise, she was okay, she was financially okay. She had work that she could work in, she worked in the shirt factory at Karat, a family and non-reliant upon us, they don't require money off us every month, although my wife does pay for her son to be looked after by her parents up in Karat. At the end of the day, my wife's got her own farm and farmland, and really speaking, she's financially not too too badly off either. So, so that's that's what I'm saying. You, you don't have to come here. The, the stories that all Thai girls are poor. Um, there's a lot of po poverty here, and there's a lot of Thai girls looking for a foreigner but sometimes they're looking for a foreigner just because foreigners take care of people over here better than the Thai people do. Many Thai, Thai men drink whiskey and get drunk and are not very nice to their wives and whereas foreigners or Westerners seem to be a little bit more for taking care of people. Oh, that's the opinion that I guess. But also there are a lot of foreigners who get drunk, mistreat the girlfriends or wives, badmouth them as they would do in the Western countries. So there's good stories and bad stories in Thailand over everything. And um, I like to try and focus on the good stories because there are plenty of bad stories in the world at the minute and nobody needs to listen to all bad I think a bit the good news every now and then is nice so that's all right here we go washing the car so what do you think in the comments leave your comments down below with regard to how you find living in Thailand now living in Thailand I'm gonna discuss a few things like do you need to learn the language living in Thailand? Now I was going to live in France when I retired. This is a long time ago, 11 years ago. My dreams were for living in France and running a sheep business. And I really, really tried to learn French, but I found it difficult to learn. I'm just not talented at learning languages. I can learn many things, but learning languages isn't one of them. And I've got to say, learning Thai is very difficult. My wife now can speak perfect English, so I've become a little bit lazy with trying to learn Thai. I know a few Thai words, but yeah, holding a conversation, impossible. And also, within Thailand, there's many dialects with regard to the Thai language. Uh, such as my wife lives in Karat so even sometimes she finds it difficult to communicate with the Thai people where we live you know because in Karat it's Isan Thai and that's a different Thai to like down in Phuket or 
crabby and things like that so you know you might be able to learn a little bit of Thai and be understood a little bit but on the whole it's very very difficult to learn as an example one word cow can mean five different things it depends on the tone of the voice how high you say it how low you say it how soft and how forceful it can mean five different things so <laughs> i've got a monotone voice so i find it difficult to for the tones to go up and down and therefore i find it difficult so my wife does all the translation for me have you ever found it a problem living here not being able to speak thai a couple of times yes uh, when i went to pick my friend's car up from the border because he went to he went to Myanmar for a two-week holiday that was three years ago and he he wasn't able to get back into the country because of this the situation that happened so his car was parked at the border for nine months and he asked me to go and pick it up for him and bring it home because he was paying a hundred baht a day for it to be in a car park so he wasn't very happy at paying a hundred baht a day and now it's been three years three years and so at a hundred baht a day that would have cost a lot of money so he went to the border to pick his car up and um there was no way they couldn't speak a word of english at this border car park where we were at and uh, so again i used my wife's services although my wife didn't come with me i phoned her up and she did a negotiation with a lady in the car parking place and his bill was 29,000 but we managed to get it down to 23,000 baht for parking his car there so the lady at the car park was very happy receiving the 23,000 baht in cash and there was a few other cars parked there as well so having a little bit of a parking space near the border was great now because it was a because it was a long way to the border of Myanmar we decided to stay the night in a hotel and we booked the hotel on booking.com so all we need to do was just show the passport and no English thought was needed and pointing and pressing and we, we managed to get our rooms in that and the trouble came when we went to order some food we went out to a restaurant me and my friend both of us English we couldn't speak any Thai and uh, the menu was all in Thai and we we struggled to order some food and how we did it in the end was i rang my wife up and the restaurant that we were in was mostly a seafood restaurant so they didn't have even the standard food <laughs> in the normal food so anyway long story short my wife managed to order some um, pork and basil you know you can get pork and basil virtually everywhere and every 7-eleven sells it and that's so so we that's the only time in the 11 years that I've really struggled because I didn't understand Thai and I couldn't speak Thai so not bad out would be 11 years and if you go to all the main cities and the towns you'll get by with English because at the end of the day in the tourist locations there's plenty of people who, are, who can speak English and you'll get by what I do feel sorry for and I've seen it a few times is foreigners who have been here and like from China or from Russia even I've seen that a few times and Italy, Spain, France, where they can't speak English either. And then they really, really struggle. Because at least 
you can get by with a little bit of English. But for those people from other European countries, well, I've seen them struggle really, really hard. And just to give one instance, when I was taking my theory test in Thailand for my driver's license, we were doing it on the computer and all the questions are in Thai and English. So I had some Italian guys and Spanish guys who couldn't read English. So they're just guessed and you can guess what the results of their results were failed. And they struggled. They struggled too because they couldn't read English. So therefore they struggled with the with a test. So for those people European followers of my channel, at least learn English. So then you can you can get by. Uh, old age, old age creeps up on us all. So now, as I say, washing the car because next week we're going up to the to the wife's farm, going up for Songkran. So we're going up to Karat for a couple of weeks. So we're getting all the garden ready and we've organized with our gardener to come and water the plants and things like that whilst we're away on holiday. And it's as simple as that, you know, it, it's an easy life living here in Thailand. I don't feel any stress, I don't feel any any worries or anything else like that. I've done a video on the cost of living here in Thailand and this is just a feel good video really, Ram rambling on. There's no real message to this video, it's just, just that you can live a, a life here that's good and happiness and I mean, look at where they live, look at the blue skies. Blue skies, sunshine every day. It's a little bit warm now because we're in hot, hot season. And that just means it's a bit more humid than normal. But hey, I'd sooner be hot than cold. And after living here for 11 years, you get used to it. I lived in a, in a country, England, and it was cold nearly all the time. And I've got to say, yeah, you sort of do get used to it. I mean, I don't know whether you can see here, but look. Sweating, just washing the car. It's not a, a difficult job washing the car. But because of the humidity, you sweat very, 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 very much. And it's just one of them things you get used to. Plenty of cold showers during the day and you get over it. So for those people who were watching my channel, I tried to do a variety of subjects and I'm always a positive guy, I don't believe in negativity and for all the badness that's going on in the world, I think every now and then Maybe it's moving from your home country to Thailand would be a good move because living in Thailand is a cheap, a cheap way of living. You can get a lot for your money here. More bang for your buck, as the Americans would probably say. But uh, I couldn't live this lifestyle in England, that's for sure. And I'm happy living this lifestyle. So that's it, I'm going to wash the, the tyres now and I'm a bit bending down with regard to washing the wheels and that, so I think I'll draw an end to this video with, with that. So if, if anybody got any questions and things like that, please leave your comments down below. Bit of a rambling on video really at the end of the day, but at the end of the day I just want to tell everybody that Thailand is a wonderful place and not all Thai girls are out there to rip you off. So from there, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.